Yo, what up, Street Dogs? There, Kim. All right, the thought. This one is about uh, life share. So, what is life share, and why is it important, and stuff like that? Uh, kind of let me explain. So, basically, the the gist is in life, we tend to uh, overstate and overrepresent, you know, how much we're going to utilize something. So, for example. You know, you buy a big ass house and you have spare bedrooms. You're like, wow, this will be so nice because, you know, maybe in the future we're going to have an opportunity to have friends over and stuff like that. And but actually uh, the reality is we tend to overestimate and overstate how much we're going to use something. So therefore, as a consequence, the downside is. Uh, a lot of your stuff is being underutilized. So for example, we're staying with our buddy Tim in uh, Westerly and he's got like a nice, you know, two bedroom, two bath uh, condominium. And it's so nice because, you know, when he's off at school teaching, 90% of the day he's not at home using his space, yet he's spent all this money on it. And so me and Cindy were able to like parasite his house and utilize home while he's at work. And then, you know, his house is nice, he's, in a, he's a grown up adult and stuff like that. And so it's just nice because we get the upsides of um, utilizing his home, but that the downside that we don't have to front the money. So essentially the whole thing becomes much more uh, efficient and effective for us and um, stuff like that. And so I just think it's a, I think it's kind of a cool notion because why is it that we, feel obliged to always have to just own stuff. I think it's actually much more effective where we could essentially share our lives, like life share. And basically the, the gist and the notion I have of life share is kind of towards more of a life in a society where it's it's beyond ownership. Because the I think it's Nietzsche who said this was like, the more things we own, the more we are owned or the more the more things we own the more things own us and so often ownership is a trap because ownership makes us a, you know like you know some people are like oh it's my dream to travel the world and do blah 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 and then the reason they don't travel is because um they're like oh when am i gonna do my home and my stuff and blah blah and so positioning yourself where you don't have to own anything seems actually like a much more effective life strategy. So, I mean, so the, the, the general gist I have is, you know, if you got friends and family and stuff like that, don't feel like you gotta own it. You know, whenever possible, borrow stuff from friends, um, lend things to your friends, share things with your friends. And let, if we are able to think about life beyond ownership, I think all of us could collectively thrive even more.